Hi, Cristina. Hi, Luca. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And thanks for coming here and taking part uh, in this exhibition. We are My in pleasure. Palazzo uh, Bembo in Venice on the Grand Canal. And uh, we are presenting today uh, the exhibition Contemporary Venice. So we are um, opening in uh, a couple of hours and uh, so we are really excited about, uh, about this. And I would like that uh, you introduce a little bit uh, uh, more about yourself. Where do you live and work? Where is your office? Where is your studio? And uh, after we'll ask you other questions. Okay, my name is Christina Mitoba. I'm from Austria, Vienna. I have my studio there in the 18th district. Uh, it's overlooking the city with a beautiful view. I always have to say that. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yes, it took me a long time to find. <laughs> Thank you. I made you. <laughs> yeah, and actually, yeah. I've been painting ever since I've been 12 and I've, I mean, of course, I did some paintings earlier as well. I started probably uh, when I started to walk and my mother always says that I uh, made a, a behind water, a behind glass, some watercolor painting when I was two years old. I painted the rooster brick. <laughs> And um, yeah, we have it at home. And, so um, art uh, was always part of your life from the beginning? Yes, I think so, because my father, he um, drew me very nice uh, uh, pictures when I was little. And I can remember this. I can remember back to a very young age. Um, and I started talking very early too. So yeah, I can remember very, I think, yeah. As soon as I came out of hospital, I think I can remember. Okay. <laughs> and what about the um, works that you um, usually work on? Your artistic research and uh, yeah. what about this work that we are presenting uh, today? You work yes. usually on abstract uh, works uh, using uh, different colors and materials, I yes. see. I usually uh, work with oil, with mixed media, um, with... Um, glitter a lot um, with stones, with sand, with dried leaves, with actually everything I can find. Okay, and so you use a lot of material, several uh, materials. Yeah, just um, what I like, I take. Okay, and uh, <laughs> what about the name of this work? This is called After the Rain and it stands for optimism uh, a lot and I can tell you what it doesn't stand yeah. for and that's it, um, all the dryness. I mean, all dryness, you know. Yeah. Also, the dryness inside people, dry humor, because this painting is actually uh, not just about. I, call, I I named it after the rain because I think. Um, um, it's a special moment after the rain because you smell yes. uh, the smell and the colors and the atmosphere is magic from from one side. Yes, yes. It's not nostalgic or melancholic, but it, it's, uh, you know, like uh, suspended. It's a magic moment. Yes, yes, exactly. I feel what, yeah. You, yeah. what you did uh, uh, watching your... I don't have to say anything, you, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why, you know why? I see these uh, lights with this material that you use that uh, is a shining uh, uh, light and it's uh, reflecting a lot of uh, emotions that you were talking about in that special moment. Yes, and it uh, also stands for Esprit, and I think that's something that's just really important nowadays. Everybody uh, talks about humor and making jokes and in kind of a dry way somehow, but to have Esprit and to make someone really laugh, you know, I mean laughing, that's not so easy, and uh, it's easier to make someone cry, you know. So uh, people should be much more proud of their Esprit, I think. And this is also what this painting stands for. It stands for hope, it stands for happiness, for um, energy, uh, vitalization, um, for uh, just getting things done, progress, uh, work, um, um, looking forward to the next steps. And um, it's, it should, should just uh, show optimism, because I think that's, something many people are missing nowadays. Thank you very much for yeah. your explanation and, your, uh, and this conversation. And um, I hope to present in future 
other works uh, of your artistic research and meeting again you. And uh, thanks again for coming in Venice. Thank you so much. <laughs>